If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Check out Potan Store. It's a fantastic website with instant email delivery on all the code cards you could possibly want for PTCGO. And if you use Tailmon code when you're checking out, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailwind code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Thank you so much for joining me today. Native Ryan, Pathol, Iberserg, Minimans, Thank you so much to all of you who are here. Happy New Year to all of you. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining me today. Back to streaming. Still not feeling at 100% um, health-wise. I've been a little under the weather, um, throat infection, taking meds, blah, blah. But I am feeling much better today. Not at 100%, but like at 85%, I would say. So I am back, I wanted to stream start of the new year see if we can get a streaming streak going yeah. and yeah hopefully i see frames being dropped hopefully that's not going to affect the live stream too too much let me know if it is affecting you a lot if the stream is stuttering or whatnot or the sound level yeah let me know if you see any issues and victini thank you so much for the follow Panecillo as well and Marcos Torres. I don't know why Marcos didn't show up, but thank you so much for the follows. Um, the event list covered the the thing. <laughs> the alert. So I'll definitely move that over here. And okay, so we are going to continue with our Dallas preparation. That is my next big event. That is what a lot of people are preparing for in North America. So I figured um, playing Pikram today would be a good call. Pikram, still a very viable deck, I would say, um, in Expanded. I really like um, the combination of tag teams with Max Elixirs. I think it's just absolutely fantastic. And so we have Pikram with its 240 HP. We have the full blitz attack which in expanded you have choice bands and electro powers to power that up so that's really really good and um we have tag bolt gx which allows us to deal 200 and if we have three extra lightning energies we can actually attack the bench as well for 170 where in expanded there's tap lele shaman gx the dene gx <clears throat> even jirachi gx so a lot um a lot a lot of potential targets, juicy targets right there. So Pigram, a really powerful card in Expanded. Um, the the 204 HP is a little bit on the lower end, but it's it's made up for its speed. We have Zero Aura to give us free retreat, and as a um, regular GX attacker, we have Coco GX with its fantastic Tapu Thunder GX attack, punishing heavy energy decks such as Turbo Dark, we also have our Coco Prism to power up with Dance of the Ancients, and we have our 1 1 Jolton GX line, where we use this in order to combat Vile Plume, that's super, super important. We have Headbolt dealing 110 and bypassing the Vile Plume um, that doesn't let you attack basic Pokemon, or that doesn't let basic Pokemon attack, rather. And we have the Eevee with the Energy Evolution, so we can immediately evolve. Um, Victini, thanks so much for hanging out today on the stream. And Luis, thank you so much for being here as well. Nicolas, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Five months subscription for Nicolas. Really, really kind of you. Happy New Year to you too, Nicolas. Um, <clears throat> YouTube video recording? No, this is not a YouTube video recording. This is live. Unless you are watching it on YouTube, then yes, it is a YouTube video recording. <laughs> um, what do I think of Durant? Clay mail, I don't think it's very good. <clears throat> I think there's going to like there's a lot of item lock possibilities between Valplum and Mewtwo decks. <clears throat> um I just I don't think 
Durant is a viable deck to bring to the regional tournament. You know, like it's a fun deck to play with for sure, but I don't think it's a viable tournament deck. <clears throat> so yeah, other than that, um, like other than the Pokemon, we have Lele, Shaman, and Deteni, as I mentioned. Um, we have Ricorio as well for a Night March and Vespiquen Counter. This is pretty standard, honestly. Um, Cassius helps us in healing by shuffling back a Pigram that took damage, and then we bring up another one, and so on and so forth. We also have the Flash Energy, and Luis, thank you so much. Thank you so much. 14 months subscription. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for resubscribing. Very, very appreciated, people. Thank you so much. I will be giving out. I have, thanks to Poton Store, one of our sponsors, I have five $10 vouchers for their store. And you can use that $10 voucher with the Tablemon code, yeah, for a further 5% off. So I'll be giving out um, at least two of those today, depending on how long I stream. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Make sure you keep on watching because I don't know when I'll be giving them out, um, but I'll definitely be giving out two of those vouchers. So if you are here and watching, then um, you'll have a chance to win one of them, Yeah, to get code cards to build beautiful decks like this one. So let's jump into the games. Yeah, I don't think I need to go over what Max Elixir does and whatnot. Um, if you do, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer any questions or in chat right now. Um, what about Acerola versus Cassius, Avadram? So Acerola puts the cards back into her hand, whereas Cassius puts the energies back into a deck so that then you can full blitz them back, right? So in this particular deck, Cassius is actually a little better. Cassius also allows you to heal or take a Pokemon, remove a Pokemon from play without, um, without it having any damage. So in the late game, you can potentially remove a Shame in EX, um, Thank you, Henry, so much. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for the 20 M&Ms. Thank you so, so much. Very, very kind of you. How are you doing? Um, so yeah, Cassius allows you to remove like a potential target your opponent might have um, from play, therefore making it harder for them to win. Um, what decks are on the list today, Eberzerg? We have Pigram. We also have um, a spicy Trevor and Dustnor deck that I'm sure a lot of you will enjoy. And okay, we're up against Ultra Necrozma. The stream is fine, right? No one's saying anything, so the stream, I assume, is looking good. Um, I don't plan on using the Dene. Like, I want to be a little conservative with my item cards. This Max Elixir is really nice. All right. So I don't know if... I don't know if my Cocoa Prism is prized, but most of the time it's not going to be prized, so that's pretty cool, and it's not. And because I have the Max Elixirs, then I'm not super, super worried. <clears throat> Keeping the Field Blower for Garbotoxin defense if my opponent's playing Ultra Growth Magarb is pretty important, and then we'll go ahead and end. Is it Trev with Pyro? No, no, just straight up Trev. And thanks so much for the extra M&Ms, Henry. Very, very kind of you. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> Today you'll be able to watch without work getting in the way. That's always good. Um, okay, so we have a stadium counter. We have the guaranteed attack next turn, which is always nice. So I think that's all we do. We want to be conservative with the items in case this is Ultra Necrozma Carb. And we will see what else we do here. <clears throat> all right. All right. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Only the energy Lodo, which did hit the double try on energy. This Ultra Ball will give us more information. Metal energy, metal basic energy. And a Via Seeker. My opponent's hand must be very complicated because he's not toying a lot. Hello Jedi, thank you so much for being here. Happy New Year to you too. 
And so yeah, native friend. It's not Trade for Inspire, it's Dust Nor Trevenant. Yeah, like Dust Nor Trevenant the tag team card. That's what it is. Like it's not a viable deck for Dallas because I expect Turbo Dark to be super popular. But um <clears throat> it's not super popular, but um I mean, sorry, Turbo Dark is super popular, therefore it's not viable for Dallas, but it's still a very fun deck to play. Um, what, are my, what are some of my goals for this year for Pokemon? So, we are hovering into 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, so I'd really love to get to 20,000 subscribers, if possible, this year. I would imagine we will be able to, but um, I'm hoping it'll work out. So doing that and then maybe getting to 10,000 followers on Twitch, that does require me to Twitch, I mean to stream a lot more and that is part of the part of the plan. So streaming more often is, is definitely one of my goals. And then <clears throat> I would love to get day two for Worlds. Um, I think with the recent, with my top eight in San Diego and the way events are gonna play out, I think I definitely have a decent shot to to doing so so i'm looking forward to that um hopefully getting day two once again now that worlds is in london it's also extremely like it's even more appealing than it used to be so hopefully that works out um you keep rising with all gx and dark react so much in turbo dark you're considering gladian avatron i mean you could i think there's merit to playing a 2-2 two with all gx line for sure I do think there's merit to that. Okay, so I don't need to play my stadium. I'm not threatened by anything that my opponent might do next turn. We see basic energy, so <clears throat> probably no rainbows plus puzzles, which is good. I think I just go attach KO here and power myself up. I don't see any reason why not to do that, honestly. I get a prize, I should be safe. And there we go. You hope you get your first cup win in over a year, Iberserk. That's that's a good goal. Yeah, that's a good goal to have. In order for you to get that win, you definitely need to go to more tournaments, right? That's a good goal to have. That's definitely a good goal to have. Okay, so next turn we could be greedy and take three prizes over here or we could play it safe and just knock these two guys out because then I'm eliminating threats from my opponent and I just simply win. Very nice. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Bliss Take. <clears throat> Will I be building Hunchgrove style to, st to test at any point? Um, probably. I honestly don't know what a list for that looks like. <laughs> Other than like 4 4 Hunchcrow with 4 Dust Domes and whatnot, and like a lot of annoying things. Um, but yeah, I'd be down. If you have a list, Native Ryan, to share, I'd love to see it. If you send it to me on, on my Facebook page, I would love to see it. <clears throat> if there's like a standard list for that deck. Otherwise, I can try to come up with one. Alright. So trainer six one nine zero six three. That sounds like a name that the game automatically picks for you if you don't choose a username. All right. So we start Lele and Colorus. Not the best start, that's for sure. Um, what am I going to do with all those coins, please take Nothing, because everything is locked in this account. So I literally like I just keep buying. Um, okay, that was a good top deck. I'm gonna lose my whole hand though, basically. Um, yeah, in order for me to, well, I guess I can keep the Thunder Mountain. This is not great, though. This is not great. Uh, yeah, I think I just go Picarum and then N with the computer search. I think that's okay. I don't want a Colrus for two, that's for sure. And I don't want to, um... Well, yeah, I could do that, but 
I feel like in the end, if I get Sycamore, I won't want to play it because of the Thunder Mountain, so might as well just grab the end. Um, so what was I saying? Oh my gosh, what is this hand? What the heck? Right. And into nothing. Um... So what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. I actually forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Baby Gus should be good in Turbo Dark, I wholeheartedly agree. Oh yeah, the... Okay, so the thing is, please take everything... This is a demo account. This is a special account. Right? So... Yeah, you can see... Well, you can't see, but behind me... I guess I can turn off my face cam for a second. Yeah, that part here, it says demo. Demo underscore tail. And that means I have a demo account, which means every, I have four of every card, but every card is locked. And this account is not able to trade. So the coins are actually useless for me. Coins are actually useless for me. Right, so my opponent going for the double blade immediately. And that's a problem, because we might just lose next turn. If that's the case. And... Alright. That might save us. Nope. I mean, I honestly... Like, I don't lose this turn, but it's just not looking great. Uh, sure, I'll do this in case my opponent misclicks or whatever. I'll max elixir. I'll fail it. <laughs> I'm just gonna concede. There's no way I win this game. I'm too far behind. That end just completely killed me. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> Jedi. Yeah, so this demo account, it's like all the coins and all the tickets. That's why I have like over a thousand tournament tickets, 18,000 coins. And I just spend the coins because at some point I accumulate a lot and then I go down. Um, I have a lot of trade locked packs in the account, but I don't need anything, so there's no point in me opening them. Um, I could do a no, an, like a pack opening video, um, like the biggest pack opening video ever, but I feel like it would take so long. <laughs> it would feel like a waste of time, honestly. Um, unless it's like a ridiculous amount, right? Like 10,000 packs or something. Um, like breaking some sort of record. That could be interesting, but I don't know. I mean, I, I wish I could donate them, right? I wish I could transfer them to someone, but can't do that either. <laughs> and Jedi, trust me, the plan, the plan is to win worlds every year. <laughs> All right, so let's go trainer's mail. Okay, um, I feel like I'm gonna fail it, because I'm gonna just sick over this hand away. So I'm gonna bench Lele and grab Sycamore. Pips though is interesting. Happy New Year, Prince Mano, say date. If you do transfer them to me, I mean, I would love to transfer them to people who watch me, but I just, I don't have a way to do so. <clears throat> Why everyone is playing standard 1819? I'm not playing standard. I'm most certainly not playing standard. Ooh, Thunder Mountain is pretty nice, but I don't need Thunder Mountain. I have a guaranteed attack next turn, so Electro Power gets me closer to a potential knockout. I feel like I'm just gonna leave it like this. Ball benching this guy, and I'll pass. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright. And wow, Henry, thank you so much for the 500 M&Ms. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much, Henry. That is amazing. Thank you so much for the 500 M&Ms. Starting off the year <clears throat> the right way by eating. So far, I have 541 M&Ms. Thanks to Henry. That's a lot of M&Ms. <laughs> that is a lot of M&Ms. You, book, you got Pokemon Shield the other day. Yeah, the game is really fun. Definitely the game is really fun. I've been really enjoying making VGC content. <clears throat> I got to Master Roll rank, so 
I don't know. If I wasn't going for a date to invite for a TTG, I would maybe try to go for an invite for a PGC as well. Just because I could, but <clears throat> it's not looking great for that. Okay, so who do I start? I think I start Shaman. I am going second though. So maybe I should try to draw into pieces to use the Thunder Mountain. <clears throat> maybe that's better. I'll go for that because I'm going second. <coughs> no, I will not be eating those for 541 M&Ms in stream. I do owe you guys a, an M&M eating stream, that's for sure. Alright. So we're up against Turbo Dark. Based on that Ultra Ball. Based on that Ultra Ball, we are up against Turbo Dark. Ooh, ADP Dark. <clears throat> Max Elixir onto the ADP. Double Dragon onto the ADP. Oof, that stadium is super, super annoying for this deck, right? Like, we have Field Blower, but it's just, it's really, really annoying. <clears throat> All right, so oof, that top deck is awful, and I whiffed the trainer's mail. Oh my gosh, that is actually like that is probably some of the worst possible combination of cards that we could have gotten. That's insanely bad. <clears throat> we lose the Thunder Mountain, we get <laughs> a very sad three cards off of Shaman, and now we're in a horrible, horrible spot. I mean, next turn my play might be to go Energy Drive. If my opponent gets greedy, well, I mean, that wouldn't be greedy per se. Ugh, we're in so much trouble. We are in so much trouble because of this awkward, awkward start. <clears throat> um, Ridiculous, Ferrothorn, Darmanitan, Snorlax, Excadrill, and Mudsdale. It looks very good, I Berserk, except for the fact that you have five physical type attackers. So I definitely think, um, like having both Mudsdale and Snorlax is a little bit overdoing it. Um, I assume you're going for like a Trick Room-ish kind of thing. Um, wow, Astinia, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for the host. Welcome, everyone. Wow. Astinia. So, Astinia, if, if you're not following, if you like Pokemon Sword and Shield, yeah, definitely follow Astinia because he's a really cool Aussie guy who is hosting shiny Pokemon, shiny G-Max Dens. Yeah, he's like the most patient person I've ever seen. And he's literally just helping the community by hosting shiny Gigantamax Pokemon Dents. And that is insane. Yeah, that is actually insane. Thank you so much, Astinia, for the host. Welcome. I'm uh, a TCG focused streamer. I do play VGC as well. Um, so you might, if you decide to follow me, you might see some VGC streams in the future. But um, I focus mostly on TCG. I'm a very competitive TCG player. And yeah, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much, Athenia, for the big, big host. <clears throat> All right, so I'm pretty sure we're dead here, but might as well go for the Swift Drawn. Maybe buy myself a turn. We're not doing really good. All right. That sucks, Blistake. Hopefully no one... No one gets into your account. And yeah, Ivers are definitely more special attackers. Yeah, definitely, definitely more special attackers. So yeah, thank you to everyone who came over from Astenia stream. Thank you so much to Astenia for sure. Hope you have a good night, man, because I know it's like 4 a.m. <laughs> for you over in Australia. So thank you so, so much. Super, super kind of you. Really cool guy, really cool guy. He's really, really cool. He's super patient, he's very helpful, and he's the reason why I have a shiny Gigantamax hidden ability, Charizard, which is fantastic. <laughs> um, okay, so my bird just passes, 
<laughs> I keep top decking energies. I'm just gonna concede. Not looking good for a Pigram, right? I mean, we're getting these super awkward hands, which we have no control over. Right? We have no control over them, but what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? All right. Let's do one last game with Pikaram. Hopefully we get to showcase it. We're going second once again. But I mean, going second is not terrible because you get a very decent chance to get a turn one attack off. Um, not with the hands that we have been getting, but hopefully, eventually, yeah, we'll be able to pull it off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so that means my Ultra Wall will become Lele. Or never mind, we're just gonna get End into a brand new hand. I was gonna say, like, if my opponent, no matter what he's playing, if he plays turn one Sand Lab, we're gonna be in trouble. But he just starts the Wall Fed, which means we are still indeed in trouble. Um, at least we get two Colrus for four. That's not terrible. Um, definitely wanna do this. I have the Kuzma as well to get out of this situation, but I mean, call rest, of, <clears throat> call rest for four is not the end of the world, that's for sure. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a call rest for four. All right. I'm not super excited to call rest for four, but it's not, like I said, the end of the world. Um, all right, and then I'll just pass. We'll see what happens next turn. <clears throat> you don't know who to add that are good special attackers that have coverage, I Berserk? I mean, okay, so looking at your team, again, I guess you have your Nicholas to set up Trick Room, right? I think you would definitely benefit from some redirection. So something like a Togekiss with Follow Me or an EDD with Follow Me, I think that would be um, very useful for you. All right, so I can tap Lele, which is good. I don't think I'm gonna be needing Electro Powers, so that's good. Arnalo, thank you so much for the follow. There's our beautiful tap Lele, which we will use to grab Sycamore. So like in an ideal world, this Trainer Mail, <clears throat> Trainer's Mail gets me a, a what? A Switch, a... A Thunder Mountain, that would be fantastic. Or we can just fail it, right? <clears throat> yeah, thank you so much, Astinia, for, for the big host. Very, very, very kind of you. All right, so not quite what we were looking for right here. Triple Via Seeker. That's so silly. Um, we'll just pass. Yeah. I mean, my opponent isn't doing much either. I don't think that deck is like super great. Um, Orangru, Orangru doesn't provide redirection though. Um, I feel like Togekiss or NDD would be good Pokemon to add to your team. Um, a special base Dragapult could also be good. That could actually also be decent. All right. Um, I mean, the Cassius lets me promote this, but it doesn't let me attack. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call rest. I'm going to bench this guy. I'm going to choice bench this guy. Doesn't seem like my opponent is playing too many basic, I mean, or any GXs rather. And okay, so we get to max elixir, hit it, awesome. And then we get to attach here and <clears throat> I mean, do I expect my Pikram to survive? I feel like I should expect it to survive. So I'm just gonna power myself up. Take the knockout and power myself up. Accelerate my win condition. No big deal. Am I playing switches? No, I'm not playing switches actually. I don't believe this list is playing switches. This is based on the top eight list from the last expanded regional and I don't believe it has any switches, no. All right.
Alright. So yeah, my opponent is a big non-GX focused deck. This does 10 plus 10 more damage for each damage counter. Not the biggest of deals. Not a lot of damage either. Um, I think I just go after the Wolfet. Like, I'm not scared of these guys, I don't think. Right. Uh, Max Elixir obviously fails. I think I kind of want to establish <clears throat> the stadium. And that way my attack is cheaper and I'm more energy efficient. I also take away that option from him. Yeah, I wouldn't consider this a very serious deck though, for sure. Um, super odd. I mean, nothing wrong with putting the energy back actually. Because eventually this guy will go down. And if that guy never goes down, then I just win because it never went down and I took three prizes, right? And I think I keep the Via Seeker. I don't need to use it. Like, t using a support jar is very useful when you're looking for something, but I'm not actually looking for something. And by having an extra Via Seeker, that means if I get Ent down to three, I have a higher chance of finding a Via Seeker and looking for whatever card it is I need later on. <clears throat> yeah, Pigram should benefit from, would benefit from one, one or two floatstones. Maybe this has floatstone. I actually don't remember. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so I'm gonna give out the $10 voucher. Yeah, for Potan Store, which once again, you can use combined with the table month code in order to get 5% off. Okay, so I'm gonna give it away to someone who is watching right now. 